Welcome back to Good Day State Line. Betty White was a wonderful actress for decades, but it's not hard to pick out what you think her biggest and best and most remembered role will always be, of course, Rose on Golden Girls was our favorite tonight. We're chatting with Stan Zimmerman, who was one of the writers on the first season of Golden Girls. Hi, Stan. Hi. Eight decades, actually. Betty, oh. they turned on <laughs> the first tv camera there with betty white that is just huge that is you literally can't say that about anyone else <laughs> no i'm trying to beat her record so i, I still got okay. a few decades to go but i'm gonna i'm gonna stick in there we're rooting for you and we know you're so busy yeah. today so thank you so much for making uh time for us to celebrate betty um you of course were part of the original season of golden girls and you were very very young at that time so what was it like to be part of a show with such noteworthy women at that age Terrifying, because <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I grew up with Betty White on Password, and of course I loved her on the Mary Tyler Moore mm -hmm. show. And then suddenly I found myself standing on a soundstage in Hollywood in between the studio audience and these four amazing actors and thinking, how did I get here? <laughs> and she sang my lines and the audience is laughing. And so every day was just such a joy and you couldn't have had a better schooling for me as far as a comedy writer to have those four women saying things that came out of this crazy head of mine. <laughs> That's probably rewarding, you know, whoever is reading your lines, especially when, a, when you were so young at the time, but those women were rock stars already. Yeah, so we knew we had to write the best of the best jokes. And to be honest, I didn't think of myself as uh, a comedy funny writer. I knew I could write good dialogue, but to be super funny. And we knew we had to just write the best jokes for them. And we stayed up a lot of late nights to give <laughs> all of you the jokes that we're still laughing at today. Absolutely. So how much of Rose do you think of Betty actually had in her? I think she was kind of a combination of Rose and Sue Ann Niven. Mm -hmm. She was Niven. She was very funny and very biting and very kind of sexy, flirty like Sue Ann was. But she was also just full of love and joy and that, you know, that naivete that Rose had. So I think it's so lucky when you have uh, for an actor or writer to have one hit but that she was on both of those shows and that they could showcase both sides of her in such a beautiful way. I think you're allowed to be funnier too when you're also lovable. <laughs> yes. Uh, don't tell that to Roseanne, but <laughs> yeah. Which, you know, uh, Lanford is, you know, pretty close to uh, Rockford, huh? Yeah, yes, yes, it is. So another, another show I was very lucky to work I know. With. You wrote for Roseanne, for Golden Girls, and the other girls, the Gilmore Girls. You really Gilmore have had Girl. a pretty great career. <laughs> That's why I'm working on a book now called The Girls from Golden to Gilmore. And it's about all these wonderful women that I've been so blessed to work with and how they kind of made me the man that I am today. Absolutely. So when you think back to that first season of Golden Girls, what was one of your favorite episodes uh, that you were a part of? Uh, in uh, relation to Betty White, I have to say the very first episode mm -hmm. we wrote, which is called Blanche and the Younger Man, but was also called Rose's Mother, because when we pitched it, it we, the reason we got the job is we pitched a story about Rose's mother came to visit and she treated her like a little girl and not like a grown woman because she was afraid of her getting older. And the, to me, the, one of my favorite scenes is a bedroom scene because the mother's going to leave because she doesn't like the way her daughter's treating her. And it's the two of them, uh, Betty White and her mother, played by Jeanette Nolan, just sit on Betty's bed and have a real heart to heart. And my writing partner, Jim Berg, and I found a quote that Betty said in the New York Times about her late husband, Alan Ludden, that not a day goes by that she doesn't think about him. And we put that quote in the script and just changed Alan to Charlie, which was Rose's um, deceased husband. And unfortunately, I always wanted to tell Betty that mm -hmm. story, but I never got to. So that's a lesson. If you think <laughs> about it, do it today. Yeah, I actually just today, watched. Today we celebrate her. Absolutely. And, and it's a day I know there's a part of us that is sad, but I think it's a day to rejoice. If you have animals, hug them. If you want to, there's been a couple of Betty White challenges where people have been giving to uh, animal shelters and just to love her today and all the joy that she brought us on so many levels for so many years. All right, before we go, do you think there's something that you know about Betty that we don't know that we should know? 
Uh, you're going to have to read the book to find out. I'm not going to give it to you here. All right, when's free. the book coming out? Uh, I just finished a rough draft. Okay. <laughs> of it. So COVID, I've stayed inside. Yeah. I finished it. And I'm hoping to have it definitely out for the holidays, but I'm hoping by the fall. Awesome. So I'll, I'll come back and tell you all about it. Oh, I love that. I also want to let you know, because I, I you know, read a lot about you. You also wrote uh, the Brady Bunch movies, which are some of my favorite things to oh, watch. Oh, <laughs> now that's a whole chapter in the book. I love the Brady Bunch, but to honor them and make fun of them at the same time with the movies <laughs> was really one of the best jobs ever in the world. And uh, we would love to bring the Brady ladies and the three daughters back for uh, a web series or uh, awesome. a streaming series. Well, Stan, I know we can find you at ZimmermanStan.com. Thank you so much for chatting with us tonight. Thank you. We'll be right back with a huge Betty White fan who was working on a big project when she passed.